appropriate. Yeah, yeah. For, for today. I thought it was really good. And you know, I, I see being sheltering at home as loving loving my neighbor as myself right right because me too if you if you watched the uh press conference and what dr cook was saying you don't know if you have it or not you know you right. you can have it and not know it not know and it. then you are out in a crowd and you're infecting all these other people and you you know so that's not that's not loving my neighbor right if i take a chance like yeah. that, or not practicing social distancing okay. when you do have to be out like to the grocery store but you know we can order things online but i just can't order from costco i mean not food i feel like oh. i need to be at costco to pick out my produce and Right, right. I think we're going to try and go tomorrow morning at the eight o'clock early, <coughs> the senior hour. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because I've got a long list. Got a long list. Stuff. I've been saving it, you know, I'm thinking, okay, two weeks I can go. <laughs> but yeah, but now it's time to go to the store. Yeah. And you know, I know that United has the, you can go pick it up. They'll shop for you and you just drive up and they bring it to you. And the same with Walmart. But some things I just rather pick out myself. I want to look over my produce. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. <laughs> I just want to be able to look over my produce and see what's happening with it. And anyway. I have Kroger's delivered to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, did you hear Karen? Yeah. In my yeah. conversation, yeah. I have Kroger's delivered to me. Yeah. And that—that's what I do. In fact, I'm putting together an order, and then I'll go have them deliver it. And so, mm -hmm. what I do is I select the organic, so it's a little bit better quality. Right. And then I don't have to worry about it. Third rule is, if they don't have it, they'll substitute something that's better. So, and then they yep. deliver it to my door, and then I clean uh, everything and bring it in. Yeah. I think, I think with Walmart, you have to pick, I'm not sure that they deliver. No, but they'll drop it to your car. Right. Yes. Yeah. You go to the car, and you go to the store, don't get out of your car, you just drive up and they bring it out to you. And they put it in the back of your car, and yeah. then you can take it home and be contaminated. Yeah. Wipe it down. <laughs> yes. We did that last night with, uh, with, uh, we went to Five Guys and, and, uh, mm, I, yeah. I took, I took my Norwex cloth with me and I, when they passed it in, I wiped it <laughs> down. <laughs> I'm with We're you, Karen. Now. Yeah. I'm with you. I, uh, I, Lynn thought he was going to be going to Sutherland's this morning. And so uh, I got out my Enviro cloth and I said, take this with you. You can put it on the handle of the cart so you don't have to touch the cart. From my understanding of your program, your party, Karen, it uh, works dry or wet. Yes. And so, yes. Uh, but he's going to go tomorrow. You have to wet it eventually. You have, uh, if you use it dry, then wet it so that it it does disinfect oh, so the cloth it gets rid of all cloth. Yeah. got yeah. it okay because i had but you can use it dry yeah yeah but he's decided he'll wait until tomorrow to go that way he gets the senior discount <laughs> 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 i was like yeah get the senior yeah. discount the only so problem is you're still that? going out in public yes thing. yeah Yes, you are still going out in public, but at Sutherland's, they they allow 100 people in the store, and that's it. So if there are 100 people in the store, you have to wait until your turn. And if you get there, like they told him this morning, he called them, and they said, we're open, but we don't have 100 people in the store. 
So you could, I mean, it's a big store. You can distance yourself until you mm -hmm. get to the checkout. Yeah, you just got to make sure everything you come in contact with, you understand, you know. Well, that's why, that's why you walk around with the rag and anything you touch, you touch with the rag. Exactly. You don't touch anything. And I have ordered some uh, um, disposable. I'm getting a call from my doctor. Oh, Sorry. better take it. Hello. Hospital does not allow social distancing. They just have yes. a line all the way around and, you know, going in. What does it? Costco. Oh. Yes. They're a little oh. more crowded. At our Costco, uh, they have it yeah. taped off. They mm. have it taped no, off. I'm, I'm thinking no. In specific um, areas, yeah. and especially at the yeah. checkout, I, so that you are distanced for me from or are you all the next up person. In yeah. So I think that's great. And they don't touch your card at Costco. They're not allowed to touch your card. You have to show them your card, turn okay. it over where the barcode is. They will scan that. Yeah. And you put it on the... the okay. Conveyor belt? No, oh. you put it... No, you hold on to All it. Right. The whole oh, your card, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you touch it to the screen of the uh, credit card machine. Yeah. They never touch it. They're not allowed to. They will say... I'm not allowed to touch your card. Oh, well, that's good. That's good for me. That's good for you. In California, yes, I needed have to the, reschedule. I have a man brain scheduled for cards tomorrow. Cards come up, and they have to put the groceries on there. They Karen Wrench. Carry on bags, you know that you you know you carry your groceries in and out. Green yes. bags or whatever you call. Anyway, they said, well, we can't have you do that. Well, uh, yeah, sometime so in May. you have to put the groceries on the little thing and have a plastic thing up separating you from them. be positive. <laughs> you know, and I haven't been back to Costco since they have started to install those. But um, here in Lubbock, they're installing they, those in quite a few places. So I'm happy for that. Yeah, because, see, this is a... So, uh, Carrie um, Potter, I can't do Wednesdays. Teasing, exhaling, and you exhale, just think about six feet around you. you know, that's just That'd be it. great. So, mm -hmm. you know, and wherever it lands. All righty, thank you. The last days. Bye-bye. Especially plastic or metal. Yeah, and that's why I think you wear gloves. And I even thought cotton gloves. If I had cotton gloves, I could wear those and bring them home and put them in the hamper. Yeah. One wearing, then I can launder them, hot water, and dry them and be good to go again. It's not our, gonna live if, if they're, I'm sorry? Our roofer dropped by our house. He does other construction work for us because we had a roof done several years ago. And he dropped by and he handed me a industrial heavy duty plastic gloves, a hundred of them in a box, you know, he says here, I'm sitting there going, well, thank you, you know? Yeah. You know, even handling the mail, I do that. Yes. Yes, yeah. I I went out with my, uh, I have a spray bottle that is um, thieves oil and water. And mm -hmm. so when I go to the mailbox, I spray the handle on the mailbox before I open the mailbox. And then... When I've gotten the mail and I've thought, hmm, I think the mailman wears gloves when he is, when he delivers the mail. He is, because it helps him to, and he always has, helps him to sort through to be able to yeah. get through the, the mail quickly because the gloves will grab. So hmm. anyway, but you know, I come in, I put the mail down and I wash my hands and wait <laughs> and then do the mail later. Oh, you do. I have my gloves on and I open up the mail and then I separate the mail and then, and I, see probably, if that, and then I see if this is what I want or if this is just shred and I yes. take care of it real quick. And then I, the things that I need to look at, I do a little bit thorough. Yeah. But yeah, but I have, because I have, uh, had problems with asthma and my conditions that I've been in the hospital several times, I have a special device that removes bacteria and viruses out of the air 
and it's a nice little thing and it, it just does a real good job. So it keeps our air clean. And so I just kind of keep everything else clean. Right. Yeah. You know, because you just never know what's circulates. Well, that's know. right. So is, have you heard back from Beverly? I did. And I think she's given up. Um, I told her about your join and she said, okay, she'd try it. And, um, if she, I told her, um, Oh, I was hoping. Anyway, I said if you get it figured out, hoping I meant hop. Uh, <laughs> so is she having trouble getting she in. She said okay. Huh? She, oh. Can you see her, Richard? Can you see her picture? I can see her picture. It's she's frozen. A, she's a galaxy. Yeah. S eight. Yeah. Uh, is she frozen? Yeah. Yeah, she is. Yeah, we can't. She's not moving at all. I think she needs to. Bless her heart. That, that's a she, she needs to take it out and go back in. Uh-huh. She did she once. Needs. Oh. Mm. But see, the problem is, and I, and I told you about this. If you're trying to do this on a wireless system, you need to be close to your router. You can't be, you know, like, you can't uh. be anywhere. You know, you need to be close to the router. Okay. Hmm. So, so you're in your okay. dining room, and so you're just across from Bill's office. Yeah. That's pretty close. But, like, if I was in your guest bedroom, I'd have trouble because of the walls. Oh, And you're, and okay. you're going through video. It's just, that's why I said that I would, I would open up the meeting for you and get you going because I'm, on a direct line, I'm on a network line, so my yeah. my thing's never going to falter. So the meeting will stay uh, going. Okay, so it'll we'll we'll stay together. Oh, you're so good to us. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. Beverly, so, did, you, did you tell Beverly? Jamie, you're my only student today. <laughs> okay. Well, do well, we want to? Do we want to continue or well, do you want as, to we you want to well. continue? Yeah. Okay. Cause yeah. I'm good either way. Okay. I, and what Richard said about being close to the router, I didn't, I didn't realize that that made a big difference, but I am, our back bedroom is where the router is and it's right behind me. So, yeah. yeah. Well, when you're doing video and audio, you need to have a better connection. Okay. And if you're gonna if you're gonna host a meeting, you need to be connected. And so yeah. a lot of people think, you know, like FaceTime, they try to do FaceTime with two people and you notice that sometimes it works, sometimes you get glitches. And that's even true with instant messenger with with Facebook. And they forget the main thing. Hey, this is a cute tool but it needs to be connected and not everywhere are you connected. Yeah. And so this is a, you know, a, people don't understand that. And so anytime I do meetings or some host meetings, I always do it on my main computers that I can host it and not, I, I got a 180 megabytes down and 20 up. So it's, that's a big deal. It's good. And so I, I'm thinking, Oh, that just goes, Cause I have yeah. no idea what that means, <laughs> me but you either. do. So. <laughs> he talks to me all the time like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, Big okay. Trump <laughs> coming in. <laughs> so it, it does better when you're doing that. I try to keep that, you know, Bill got a new router because he needed oh. a bigger truck. A bigger truck, you know, bigger line coming in. Yeah. Everybody was dropping off. Now, since we hooked him up with a new router, people aren't dropping off his internet. Good. Okay. Yeah. I think Jason shamed him into it, but that's just, you know. Whatever works. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> yeah, didn't we do that when you were here for the yeah. party? Yeah, we went out and got it. That's what I was allowed to. I think I'm not I think I'm I'm not allowed to go to Passover at your house now. I think nobody not. is. Nobody. 
So, know. you know, there's, there's somewhere in one of the prophets where the Israelites weren't in Israel. Yeah. And for Passover, so they couldn't be in Jerusalem for Passover. Something was going on anyway. And so they, they did it a month later. Yes. Yes, I yes. Re remember reading that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, what? so we're Eight. looking to a month later. We're going to do it May 7th. Okay. Or May whatever. I, I don't know. I have to check the date, but yeah. Well, you know, what's really interesting is they canceled all of our citizens on patrol going out. Oh, yeah. Well, my, my chiropractor said that uh, he has two uh, uh, state patrolmen that work out with him in, at the 6 o'clock hour. Yeah. I do the 8 o'clock hour. Good 6 is you. way too early. <laughs> Not on my clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell on your clock. Clocks. <laughs> but... Um, Anyway, eight o'clock is plenty early, but he's, uh, he was saying that, that they were saying that they hope the criminals don't get it figured out that there's no police support because they're not, you know, they're, they're told do not initiate any contact. Yes. Uh, you know, so there's no stopping for speeding or anything like that. And Jason, our, my chiropractor, said, I think that's already been figured out. <laughs> <laughs> the way people are driving. <laughs> well, they, where we would watch the different areas and patrol the different areas for things yeah. you'd see. And we'd find things. There's 40 of us that got pulled back, you know. So mm -hmm. that just like, you know, cut back on the eyes yeah. and ears and mm -hmm. helping with people, what they call us, assisting the cars. The car breaks down, we pull in and turn on our lights and, you know, call for a record. All, yeah. all that would help the police department, you know, keep going on what they were doing. And that's yeah. all been cut back. Yeah. You know? Okay. We're ready to start. I think we need to start. All right, I got to get my shalom out of the way. I love your banner. I know. I'm going to put it in my front yard this afternoon. Oh, is I like that something? your banner. It's one it's... of those yard flags. I love it. I found it on, on Amazon. Okay. She was looking for Passover. <laughs> yeah, we were looking, we were looking for uh, matzah on... Uh, on uh, Amazon and it came up. Oh. So, okay. I don't know. Can y'all see this? Yes. No. All right. So we have over here, we have what letter? Olive. Olive. And it stands for? I'm what reading number? It. Oh, one. One. Number one. Or 1,000. Or 1,000. Okay. Okay. And it is silent. Yeah. Okay. And it re the picture is an ox. And uh, it means strong or leader, which as you can imagine, an ox, that's what he does. And it's the everlasting father in the spiritual meaning. And so... We have Av, which is Aleph Bet, and that's Father. And El, which is um, God. And we have Ahav, which is Love. Okay. All right. Then the second one is Bet or vet and it's the let the number two two and it makes what sound 
B, B. Okay, oh. good. Is that the sound you made? B. Huh? B or like a B. B or a B. V. Buff or both. Okay. okay. Bet or vet. And it its picture is a house or a tent. And uh, it stands for family, but it stands for the sun. Mm. Or yeah. So ban is sun and Bait is house, and la vie, la vie is heart, my heart. Okay, so question. Okay. So if, if Aleph is one or 1,000, and uh -huh. two, I mean, bet, vet is two, but not 2,000. No, no. It, it's it, just all two. It's the only one that, that does that. Okay. And um, it, it's because if, if you do the numbers, including the final forms, you get all the way around to a thousand. Okay. So you can start back at a thousand. So if you wanted to write the number 2000 with the letters, would you make it a bet and a an olive? I would think so. Okay. Yes. All right. That'd be the way I would write it. Okay. So how you'd write two thousand? Uh huh. With the bet and the olive, two. Yeah, it would be bet on the right and the olive on the left. Now, if you were writing 12, it would be Aleph on the right. No, it, it wouldn't be Aleph at all. Sorry. Okay. Would be it a, would be Yod, which is 10, and Aleph, and Bet. bet. That would be 12. Okay. Not that yeah, I'm pretty confusing. You know we all go, we go from right to left, right, Richard? Yeah. But I'm, I was okay. curious. I was curious. When you put that two in front of the one there, how do they know whether it's 21 or 21,000? Because the two isn't 20. 2, Cough I is mean, 20. 2,000. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at, the, at that and saying, if I put a two in that there, does it automatically make it 2,000, not 21? Yeah, it, it would not be 21 because 20 is a cough, not okay. a bit. All right, I'm just trying to put the numbers okay. together. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if so, you were going to do 21,000. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to make sure. I'm, so it would be the cough and then the olive. Oh, and then the olive. And then the olive. Uh -huh. So cough, olive, olive. Uh-huh. So that would be 21 and then 1,000. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Whew. Gets kind of confusing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of like Roman numerals, you know. <laughs> they always yep. drive me crazy. Yes. I can't ever figure them out. But it, yeah. Okay. So they generally don't use those high end numbers. And I'm, I've never seen anything written above mm. the 1,000. Really? So what, well, about, what about, okay, go ahead. What about in scripture where it talks about how, uh -oh. how, many, how many in each tribe were, went in yeah. or started out on the trek where and then you, later on? What, yeah. Okay. Where does it, it, that's in uh, numbers, isn't it? There's another Probably one that's real so interesting because when David uh, was counting the people, the Lord got angry and killed, and he killed 70,000. I always, I always remember numbers because numbers are important. So he killed 70,000, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So it would be 7,000. Uh -huh. No, it would be 7. 
it'd be 70,000. So it would be the word, the num the letter for 70. And that is. Yeah, I know we haven't got to seven yet, but I'm just using that. Right. 20, 30, 40. Noon is 50. So summit. I am is 70. So it'd be. Okay. But uh, see, they also have names for them, and I think maybe. Oh, now we've got names. Okay. Okay. So here's the list. Uh, the oh, here we go. And these were the sons, their offspring, according to the Oh, I'm looking at it. Well, I'm trying to find it. Okay, so Reuben was 46,500. Let's see how they write that in, in Hebrew. Ruben. Oh, the sons of Reuben. So it'd be an ayan and an olive. Seven. Okay. Uh, Tom. Okay, I don't. Okay, my mailman does not use gloves. I just. <laughs> Your mailman doesn't use what? Gloves. I, he just pulled up just now and I can see him outside my. Ah. Uh. And I'm sitting there because after our conversation, I wanted to see. I know UPS and FedEx do. Right. Yeah. But I yeah. didn't know whether. Our... Your postman. He ought to. Well, yeah, what you ought to do and what you do. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to. Does it just give a number? I mean, there, like. There, there's an olive. I mean, there, the, the word olive is in, is in there. So that would. 46,000, but I don't know. So and would it be? Oops. A mesh. A mesh. So I'm, I'm going to have to, to think, search that out and get back to you next week. We have to hold on that a one. week for this. You can have to wait all <laughs> But we could study it ourselves and see if we could figure out the answer. Yeah, there you go. There, that's true. Do you have it in Hebrew? Yes. I, mean, I know Jamie does. Uh, well, I okay. do. Okay. okay. So. I have a Hebrew to English cutover, and I have the, uh, breaks it down into words. Oh, transliteration? Yeah. Is that? Would that be the word that you would use? Okay. It just so, makes it easy when I start picking things apart to look at them. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we'll have to come back to that one. Okay. So we're going to the next... Um, the next letter is, anybody know it? Uh, Gimel. Gimel. 
right and it's the number three three it makes what sound g g g okay g like gun g g yeah. yeah okay and it its word picture is a camel and so it's lifting up uh -huh. or pride uh -huh. and uh, it its spiritual meaning is the Holy Spirit so we have Gamal which is the word for camel and we have gone which is the word for garden. And get a, which is the word for pride. And got all. Got all is redeem. Mm. I think I'd remember that one for the university. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. So it's the word for redeem, Gaal. Okay. So then the next letter is the Gaalit. Gaalit. And it's the number four. And it sound no. is d the d mm -hmm. okay and dalit is it well dalit is the name of the letter delit is the name for door oh huh. it's the word for door so it they're, oh. you know, they're, it's the same root, the same root, uh, the Dalit Lama. Oh. Uh, Tov. Okay, so then we have Don, which is judge. So, Daniel. God is the judge? Yes. Oh, like Daniel. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay. And, and actually, with the e, with the yod in there, it it means my judge. God is my my judge. Oh. God is my judge. Uh huh. That's what Dan, Daniel means. So, um, I just had this thought come into my head, and I'm going to say it to Richard because uh, the the name Nathan, yeah, uh, Nathan, which it would be in in Hebrew. Well, Nathaniel is. Um, God is my gift. Oh, God is my gift. Uh-huh. Because not is gift. Wow. So, okay. Just just a thought. He has a son named Nathan. Oh. And I also okay. have a friend just down the street whose son is named Nathaniel. Ah, okay. So... so all right, so Danielle. So then we have Adam, which is man, Adam. Man, yeah. Man, Adam, Dom, just the Dalit and the ma'am. Dom is blood. Mm. So, um, Adama is earth and Da'at down here is knowledge. 
What is the middle letter? Uh, iron. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call it iron. Okay. And Tob, yeah, Dollar Iron Tob. Okay. Um, Davosh is honey. Honey, good. Yeah. I like that. And dog is fish. What? <laughs> dog is fish. Dog is fish. I, mm -hmm. I don't think that's... And door, door is a generation. So I don't think Richard and I are seeing the, the last couple of words. Okay, because uh, it's too low. Okay. Uh, but um, you can adjust your screen, your, your yeah. computer. Well, I, I tried that earlier. Oh, there we go. Now we can see the light. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, dog, it, it's so that's the dollet and the gimel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, that means fish. Let's see if that'll hold there. Oh, yeah. Okay. And if it won't, that's okay because that's, those are the that's only the ones only that one we work seeing. That slow. Okay. But that's good. So, all right. Then we have hay, which is the number five. Five. Hay is five. Hay is five. Hay is five. And it makes the sound. It's the breath. So it means behold or reveal. And its spiritual meaning is the breath of Yah. The breath of Yah. And how do you make that sound again? <sighs> yeah. Like a sigh almost. That's that's what God breathed in to Adam when he brought him to life. That's what God added. This, this is the one. That's the one that God added to Avram to make uh, Avraham yeah. and uh, Sarai to make Sarah. And he gave them his breath. He gave them his spirit. Mm -hmm. It's basically what he's saying when he adds those letters to his, to their names. Mm -hmm. And if, if you, you know, if you know the Hebrew, that's what you know. We don't get that in our translations at all, ever. He just added, changed their names. No, he gave them his spirit. And so when a child says, why did he change their names? Uh -huh. And always the answer that I got <laughs> was, <laughs> he just did. No, <laughs> but his yeah. spirit in them, that's, yes. oh, there's so much we don't understand that just makes scripture so much, and God, so uh -huh. much richer. Richer. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. So we have... Havel, 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 which is Abel. That's the the name of Abel, but it also means vanity. Oh. Hmm. So then we have Hine, which um, means behold or see. And uh, there, there's a really neat song, and I think it's a, in the psalm, but I'm not sh sure. But it's Hine, Hine. I can't remember it right now. I don't do songs real well, because so, <laughs> I can't sing, so I don't remember the song. But um, anyway, Hine. Um, oh, and this is Haos, Haas. Ha haas haas, and it means hush or shh, um, is what. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then this one is har, 
which means uh, mountain. And my favorite, uh, actually these two should be switched, but Hallel, Hallel is praise. And then we have Hallel Yuah, Yuah, so, and Hallelujah. And uh, this is uh, the ooh means our. So it's praise our God is what hallelujah means in Hebrew. Okay, I left out a, I'm looking back at last week's notes and <laughs> let's praise our God. Praise yeah, our God. It, it, okay. I had praise God, but I'm, yeah, well, and that's praise. what we normally translate it as. But but in with the Hebrew, it's like the Yod is is my or I or you know any uh, first uh, person pronouns. The you is our or well, it's our. Okay. So anyway. Got it. So that's, yeah. So anyway, I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And then just the H added on to the beginning of a word means the. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the. The. T-H-E. T-H-E. T -E. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, an, just a hey on the beginning of a word just the hey yeah uh -huh. okay so i was gonna do vav um so then now we're at Vav, which is our letter for this week. And Vav is the number six. Mm -hmm. And it makes the V sound. And when it's added to the beginning of a word, it means and. So you put it in front, it means and? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. OK. So it, it's the most used letter in scripture. We're all in the hardware store. Oh, you are? Yeah. No. You are going to the hardware store? Uh, yeah, I just I'm Time gonna, out. Got to get some that screws. <laughs> Miss you, Richard. Or miss you, Lynn. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Oh, hey, it's Richard. <laughs> hey, Richard, how you feeling? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm oh, good. All protected. All right. You know, good for you. Stand to myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, good company that way. Yeah. <laughs> good I'm to see you right all. that way. <laughs> We're trying. Okay. All right. Okay. He's he's going to the hardware store. He's making okay. raised bed garden. Uh huh. In the backyard. I have those. That's happening in our backyard too. Okay. So he needs some screws. Oh. So he's going to the hardware going store. I said, hardware. take your with, with mask and cloth. glove. Well, I told him I said take the cloth, 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 the Norwex, and he said. I've got it in my pocket. So, okay. okay. Don't be bringing any bad germs home. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was really excited. I was really excited to see that they have them in the little six by six. Is that the, the travel size? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I placed my order. Oh, okay. I know she couldn't tell me, if, this is off the subject, but I know she couldn't tell me about the little kids body sponge uh -huh. but I ordered a couple anyway 
So that, yeah, it'll make bath time fun at my house for the grandchildren. Yeah. If they yeah. ever get to come again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have um, to mail them to them, but anyway. Yeah. And I ordered a couple of other things that I body cloths and yes. what was the other thing? Something else. Maybe in viral cloths. I don't remember. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. Good deal. Yep. Looking forward to having them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think so. we're going to close that out tomorrow. So. Okay. Close what out tomorrow? The Norwex party. Tell your wife to get her order in. I will because I, I want a few things more. So. Okay. Well, be sure you order them on the party. Okay. I will tell her yeah. that. Okay. I'm gonna have to, even though I have to make a special meeting with Zoom so you can explain how to do that. Okay. <laughs> she can send you a link, Richard, to her party. <laughs> and all you have to do yeah, is click on they, the link. They watched it. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Well, if you watched it, then you're, you're getting the the messages from... The updates. Sarah. Yeah, yeah. all the updates. Should be. Should be. Should be. Okay. So anyway, back to Vav. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to erase this board. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm not only erasing it, I'm dis uh, disinfecting it. So I'm doing oh, it there you go. I didn't know that was that germy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might not be, but, you know, never hurts. Okay. All right. So, we have the bog. That's better. Bog. Now see, this little tail up here at the top is about half the size of the dollet. And then it's just straight down. Just fills the line, it doesn't go above or below. Okay, and its number is six, and it has the sound of a V. And it's a nail. Or a hook. And it also represents man because it's six, which man was created on the sixth Six day. day. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the spiritual meaning is a man of the word. Okay. All right. So we have, if it's at the beginning of it, whoops, my board's moving on me too. <laughs> if it's at the beginning of a word, it is, uh, means and, okay, if it's, uh, okay, so then we have Bob, Bob, which is a hook. Or nail. So that's sort of what Lynn just went after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> when he comes um, home, I'll ask him if he got his vods. Yes, do that. Okay. And so then we have the red. And that is a uh, rose. 
of rows. So what is the vowel marking under the vav? Uh, on this one, it's the little T. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I looked at that wrong. It isn't, it's the, it's the Shabba. The Shabba is the two dots, one on top of the other. Okay. Which just means that it's said real quickly, Vered. So if, if the Vav at the first the beginning of the word means and, you would say it's slower? You would emphasize, would you emphasize anything so that uh, you know it means? No, usually, okay. usually it's, it's, uh, um, like if I was going to, um, It, it, it would be, it would be, it would have the Shabba under it, so it would be real quickly. Okay. But, um, like, if I was saying, all right, let's say I was, I would wanted to say, and the mountain. Now, we just had mountain in Har, okay? So it's, But I want it to be and the, and the the is the bet, right? No, that bet is in. Uh -uh. What, oh, hey is is the. So you you wouldn't say the ha har. You would combine the 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 and the and, and so it'd be the har the har. So it, it would have the the a the a ah sound were pronounced with the v, okay, the, with the va. So the vahar is okay. that making sense? Yeah, yeah. So um, it, if it was and a mountain, it would be vahar. Okay. But if it's and the mountain, it'd be vahar. Got it. Okay. Okay. Although they never say anything that slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> yes. So, um, anyway, but that's, and so, um, all right, I think that's, those are the words we're going to do for Vav. Vav has very few words. Very few words start with Vav. Because, I think because of that, because then there's confusion of, you know, is that an and or is it a part of the word? So there are very few words that actually start with Vav. Now you, you can come up with some that are inside the word, but... Um, so, anyway, um, so that's, I think that's what I've got on, on that. We're, we're doing the uh, vocabulary, I mean the, we're, we're writing the, um, uh, Ten Commandments in Hebrew, Richard. Okay. Uh, and we're on, We this last week we did the fifth one. Um, oh. So the the first, the first word in the, 
of, of it is kabed. Um, and kavod means the glory of God or it's glory. It's, um, it's the greatness that, you know, those two and, words and, together. Huh? Those two. No, just ka kavod. Kavod. Uh, you, you just, yeah. Um, it, so anyway, I've, I've been real interested because kavod is the glory, the emancement, and, and my, the immenseness of God. And COVID is this little thing that's trying to poke holes in us. But yeah. we're going to stand behind his glory and not let it. Yeah. Yes. So, um, but anyway, it's kabed et avika. So, and the et is aleph tav, which um, I think we've talked about that before, Richard. That the aleph tav oh. is yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. And it, it's what Jesus said, told John he was. <laughs> I'm the olive top. <laughs> instead of alpha and omega in Greek. But anyway. Yeah, they wouldn't use that for a lot of reasons. Right, right. You know, the false God, you know, you wouldn't be putting God's name in scripture. I know we don't look at it today like that, but they did back then. It's like, why would you use the Greek stuff, you know, especially right. after the Maccabees and, you know, trying to be pure. Yeah. You know, you just wouldn't do that. Okay. So, et avika, and that means your father. Honor your father. The et, see, there's, we just talked oh. about the Bob being at the beginning. Yeah, so it's ve'et imka and your mother. Mm. So this this was a good one for us to have done just before the vav. Mm -hmm. So, um, but um, anyway. And there's, I mean, how important is it that et is in your father and your mother? Mm -hmm. um, I just think that makes it important. Yes, I do too. It, it, it's, it's a, uh, you know, I mean, who chose your father and your mother? God mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. And so you honor your father and your mother because that's honoring God. Um, this says that um, this, this one marks a transition from the first four, which have to do with our vertical relationship with Adonai, to the following five, which have to do with our horizontal relationship with others. In this pivotal commandment, the word translated honor derives from the root word meaning weighty in terms of impressiveness or importance. The same word is also used to refer to our heartfelt attitude toward Adonai. So that's, you know, kind of what I was saying about kavod. Mm -hmm. oh. Adonai intended that the Mishpacha, the family, would picture his relationship with us. Just as Adonai created both man and woman in his image, uh, so children are to regard their parents as divinely ordained and truly significant. Mm -hmm. 
the first four tell us about God. And it is only through obedience to these commandments that we are even able to really understand our own identity as well as the identity of others in our family, our community, and our world. So. Mm -hmm. That was, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. So then sixth, the Vav, we'll, we'll write this week and do next week. Okay. Okay. So, so next week our class will be on the, oops, oh Six. yeah, wow, yeah, it'll be April. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well. I guess in two days it'll be April, huh? Yes, it will. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know it. You know, I decided this morning I need to... Um, what time is our next class? Noon. It'll be next Monday. Yeah, it's the 6th. One o'clock, yeah. I thought sixth. you said the ninth. and I would... Oh, no, I said the 6th. Okay, just checking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, so, I'll make a note about my homework. Yeah. And I guess and you'll I'll, send out a text to the rest of the class. Yeah, I will. I will. I've got to uh, get with my favorite techie and <laughs> <laughs> figure out. <laughs> There's yeah, no sound right now. I didn't. I didn't hear that oh, last thing. The sound he, cut out. Oh, I said I had to get with my favorite techie and figure out how I I need to create a Hebrew uh, text group. Okay. And uh, so that I can quit sending it to the wrong people. Oh, you need a group me. Yeah. Uh, a group. <laughs> I mean, you need a group, not a group me. <laughs> well, no, it's it's an app, and I think oh. it's called Group Me. Well, well you can I, do that on your phone too. I think right. I can do it on my phone. You just create a group on your phone and then put it into that group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so then I put each each person. Okay. Okay, I yeah, can do you that. Create a new group yeah. and say Hebrew class, and then you just put in the right information for each one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I can do that. I because I I sent it to one time I sent it to Hattie, <laughs> one time I sent <laughs> it to Linda Humble instead of Linda Hogue. Anyway, so I. I'm all confused, but well, these are no. strange times we're living in. Yes. 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 I would much rather we all be sitting around my dining room, but then we wouldn't have had Richard with us. So well, that's right. And even that's when we go back to sitting around your dining room, we can have Richard with us. Yeah. yeah. Zoom <laughs> you in. Yes. <laughs> And, I, I, and just to make sure, I recorded this so I could go over it again so I could learn more. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I noticed um, that in the the corner of my screen, it says recording, and I thought, oh, does it do that oh, automatically? It does. Oh, I have to start it. Okay. okay. And so you don't do that recording on a system that does not connect to the network because you're doing two oh, things. Oh, okay. You know. So okay. I'm recording it so that I can go back and go over the names again. Okay. Cool. Can I, can I get you to send that to people? Can you send it to people? I'll see how big it is. Okay. I'm going to put it in a Google file and have you pull it down. Okay. Because the only other option after that is I have to take a uh, 
uh, a DVD and sanitize it and then put it in a bag and sanitize that and then send it off. And, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going to make it. And then you have to no, open I'm it up. A, I'm, I may have, could you, you know, just online. Yeah. Online, send it to oh, us. In fact, you know what I could do? I just realized I could do this. I can put this up on my uh, large file on YouTube and give you a, a pointer to it and you can watch it from YouTube. Oh, okay. Because I can send, then I can send that to Beverly and Dana and yeah. Linda and they can, yeah. okay. As soon as it gets done converting, I'll put it up. That'll be good. Will it be private? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just curious. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you didn't record all at the beginning, did you? I started it when you started. Oh. I didn't catch all the little chit chat. Okay, good. Should I record that? No, that's good. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I don't okay. want you to have any more ammunition on me than you can. <laughs> <laughs> so do you still need to talk with Richard about things? Because I can okay. sign off. All right. Well, I think we're done and we... Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Good to see okay. y'all. Hopefully with Bye. a few more here. Yeah, maybe next week. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Love y'all. Love you, too. Bye. 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 I was just trying to figure out how to drop off. Everybody watch. <laughs> Everybody drop it off. Okay. All right. Oh, Nathan means... God's gift? Yes. Well, no, well, let's see. Natan just means gift. Yeah. Or give, give, yeah. The gift of God. And the, the Nathaniel is the gift of God. Nathaniel. You have to have the L on the end. Nathaniel means gift of God. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to stop recording this since this is past our